So I tend to agree that in 2030, I don't even know if Bitcoin's going to be the winner. You mentioned quantum. Mm. What if a quantum came in, uh, quantum resisted, you know, crypto came in and was able to flip Bitcoin that was better than Bitcoin? I'm Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cyprags video banger. In today's video, you're not going to want to miss this. We are going to be discussing and talking about something that goes widely undiscussed in the digital asset landscape, and that is quantum computing and the future implications that it could have on the digital asset ecosystem as a whole. Now, towards the end of this video breakdown, I'm also gonna be giving you guys three digital assets that I'm heavily invested into that are making huge leaps and strides into becoming leading digital assets when it comes to quantum resistance. So if you all enjoy these video breakdowns, do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the platform. Now, in previous video breakdowns, we've discussed and talked about the importance of educating oneself on the digital transformation and the massive technological transformations that are taking place. So if you're not too familiar with quantum computing, here is a quick video breakdown in a nutshell explaining to you all what quantum computing is. And then towards the end of the video breakdown, it ends by talking and discussing about the implications that it could have on cryptocurrencies moving forward. Quantum computing. Quantum computing represents one of the most exciting and rapidly advancing fields in technology. Unlike classical computing, which uses bits as the basic unit of information represented either as zero or one, quantum computing uses quantum bits or qubits. Qubits have the unique property of being able to exist in multiple states simultaneously, thanks to the principles of quantum mechanics, specifically superposition and entanglement. This allows quantum computers to process a vast number of possibilities at once, offering a potential leap in computational power for certain tasks. One of the most significant current advancements in quantum computing is the achievement of quantum supremacy by Google. This term refers to a quantum computer's ability to perform a calculation that is practically impossible for a classical computer. Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, performed a specific calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer thousands of years to complete. Another notable advancement is the development of quantum computers with increasing numbers of qubits, which enhances their computational capabilities. IBM is a key contender in the quantum computing sector, consistently setting records for developing the world's fastest quantum computers. Looking into the future, quantum computing could evolve to have a profound impact on various fields. One area is cryptography, where quantum computers could potentially break many of the cryptographic systems currently in use. This has led to the development of quantum-resistant cryptography. Now, keep that in mind, because as we progress through this video breakdown, that's going to play an important role when we listen to some panelists talk about the importance of understanding quantum computing and the effect that it could have on the digital asset landscape moving forward into the future. Real quick, I just want to show you all some supporting documentation from large organizations and large universities that display the importance of educating oneself on this digital transformation, reiterating that into the back of your head, again, is extremely important moving forward. Educate is a must. Now it is the time to do research. And it's really important now to understand how early we are in this technological transformation. So this is a document. If I scroll all the way up to the top of this, this is from the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance, labeled Digital Transformation Roadmap 2023, all the way to 2028. So absolutely massive right there. And if we scroll right down here, it goes on to talk a little bit about quantum computing and educating oneself. It says right here, rapid developments and digital technologies are challenging the status quo and increasing the possibilities of the future. Examples of these are 5G communication, smartphones, mobile computing, quantum computing, cloud storage, big data, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and the list goes on. Now, the continuous emergence of these technologies is transforming the organizations of how people live and work and digital skills are critical in connecting factors for governments, businesses, and citizens. Key vocabulary right there. It's digital skills. So again, 
embracing the importance of educating oneself. I cannot stress enough. Now, this is from the Luxembourg Technology School. And remember in previous video breakdowns, we've talked about how eventually we're going to get to the point where they're integrating this information into the school systems in order to generate mass adoption. So now is the time before they start to do that because they haven't quite yet. Yes, they're incorporating it into universities, but all the way down to like a grade level, in elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools, they haven't really started to do that yet. So now is the time to get ahead of the curve and educate yourself on what's really taking place. This is from a major university, and here it goes on to say, since the creation of LTS, which is the Luxembourg Technology School, the public education system has introduced computer skills training from primary school. It does not mean LTS is redundant. Technology is advancing at a higher speed that anybody can adopt to. Not only the educational system, but also the businesses the more the educational system does, the better it is for us because then we have those students with a higher level of knowledge so that we can push the technology a little bit higher at early ages. Technology constant and rapid evolution also means the school has to update its content and it's shifting its focus to include AI, introduce subjects like quantum computing, 5G, and brain computer interfaces. You guys see what's happening. This is, again, why we stress the importance of educating yourself. Remember, stick around to the end of this video breakdown. I'm going to be giving you guys three picks, three digital assets that I'm heavily focused on that, again, are making major leaps and becoming quantum resistant. And I'm going to show you a document as to why this is important. So this, again, remember this organization that I showed you guys, the Alliance for Innovative Regulation. And again, it's funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the U.S. Department of State, Visa, and the National Bankers Association Foundation. And you remember they put out this document where it goes on to say, the bank compliance function stands on the brink of a fundamental change driven by digital technology. This transformation has already begun and is likely to accelerate sharply. Then right down here, what does it go on to say? get educated. And it mentions and talks about some of the technologies that you should be educating yourself on, including cryptocurrencies, CBDCs, stable coins, tokenization, blockchain, distributed letter tech. And right here, it mentions quantum computing, right? So they wiggled that in there. This is from a financial institution, i.e. Broadridge, right? If you don't know who Broadridge is, go check them out. Now, on this document, if we scroll up to the top, this is a recently updated 2023 study on digital transformation and how it's entering a new phase. And they talk about here's what comes next. Well, right down here, they go on to mention quantum computing, where it says senior executives understand that they must grapple with adapting to near-term changes while also trying to anticipate how technology will transform the industry's future. We asked executives how technology will change the industry dynamics in the long term and what they're doing to prepare. Again, remember, these financial institutions are preparing. You understand that. This is the, literally devil's in the details. As a manual retail investor, you should be doing the same thing. Now, they're not going to bring you this information on the mainstream. They're not going to tell you that large financial institutions are preparing for this. But here in the documents that I'm showing you all from Broadridge, now you all can see, right? And it says right here, emerging technologies such as quantum computing in the metaverse, they're investing for the future. So financial institutions are investing in this technology, which is why I'm going to show you guys quantum resistant digital asset picks that I'm heavily invested in, right? So moving on, it also says right here, 60% of respondents agreed that in 10 years, blockchain and DLT will become the core of financial market infrastructures. That's a massive statement right there. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. Now, right here, it says edge computing and quantum computing will have more focus as we plan to increase our computing capacity, considering the vast amounts of data and universe to be canvassed. Other nascent technologies such as quantum computing could create even greater disruptions for the industry in the future. Quantum computing offers the potential to process complex computations millions of times faster than today's most sophisticated supercomputer. Now, take a second and listen to these panelists discuss and talk about the unknown future of the post-quantum computing world. Do we think CBDCs and a legacy like a Bitcoin or something can exist together? Or do we think CBDCs will just attempt to completely stamp out what we know to be other alternatives, Bitcoin, ETH, anything like this? Do we think it's going to steal the technology and run with it? Or do we think they'll exist in tandem? I personally believe they can exist together. Again, as Tone said, it depends on the leaders and the decision makers, what they choose. Mm -hmm. But the same way we wrap Bitcoin on the Ethereum network, 
the same way perhaps they can wrap the Bitcoin and stake it in the CBDC network on whichever chain the CBDC is running, because that's also another technical issue. And I see one of the biggest issues is actually the quantum resistance, which we don't even know if it's safe yet or not, because the quantum war not came yet, and it will come. And perhaps then all the SHA-256 encryption, it will just be opened already. Look, I, I think they will coexist because there's two different communities currently, well, not a CBDC community, but that might be forced. It, it could be, uh, you can only pay for, in, in the US, you know, Visa or DMV services with this. All government services are now only used in CBDC. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, that's not going to totally take out uh, Bitcoin or, you know, cryptos unless the legislation, which is the only major stop, right? Tomorrow, if they say crypto is banned in America, you know, Bitcoin, that's never going to happen at its current rate. You have a BlackRock ETF that's arguably been approved, not going to start trading till next year, uh, yet we're worried about this price run up and no one's talking about it being priced in. So no one's talking about the CBDCs being priced into the economy and why they're printing so much and so quickly in the latter stages of their last bullets in their gun. So I tend to agree that in 2030, I don't even know if Bitcoin's going to be the winner. You mentioned quantum. Mm. What if a quantum came in, a quantum resisted you know, crypto came in and was able to flip Bitcoin that was better than Bitcoin? I'm okay with that. Now, I found that information very, very interesting. And I found this a couple of months ago, back when the market was heavily discounted and started heavily researching into digital assets that are quantum resistant. Now, before we get into my three digital asset picks that are making leaps and strides into becoming quantum resistant, I want you all to take a second and dive into this city document. Again, a large financial institution. This is not coming from Cyprus or CyperX. This is us relaying this information so you guys don't think it is make-believe. This is a document from Citi labeled Quantum Computing, moving quickly from theory to reality from July 2023, so within the last year. So I'm just going to read some highlights, and then we will jump into the three digital asset picks that I'm heavily invested into that are heavily focused on becoming quantum resistant. Now, this part was very interesting because it says, how will quantum computing disrupt the industry? Pay attention to detail because it mentions cryptocurrency. Quantum computing will likely solve practical problems faster, cheaper, or more efficient than classical computers in four broad areas, optimization, machine learning, simulations, and cryptography. Three of these attributes offer significant upside for enormous industries, including manufacturing, logistics, artificial intelligence, healthcare, and climate and finance. However, with cryptography, quantum computing poses a potential threat to existing cryptographic standards that underpin computer systems and cryptocurrencies. Referring back to what the gentleman said on the panel discussion. What if a quantum came in, uh, quantum resisted, you know, crypto came in and was able to flip Bitcoin that was better than Bitcoin? I'm Last but not least, it says right here, cybersecurity risks from quantum computing need significant attention. Right there in the first sentence, ladies and gentlemen, this is again coming from a financial institution that I'm sure the vast majority of you know about, i.e. City. Now to further read, it says, cryptography underpinning Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general is also at risk of being broken, which is why I'm gonna get into three digital asset picks that I'm heavily invested in that are focused on becoming quantum resistant. Furthermore, with the increasing investment in the metaverse and Web3 projects that are intended to build a more decentralized web using distributed ledger technologies, breaking the underlying cryptography could enable nefarious actors to break claim ownership over digital assets and DLTs to reduce this threat and improve security. The cryptocurrency community should agree on and deploy quantum resistant signature schemes. So. With that mouthful in mind, again, coming from a large financial institution, this isn't me pumping fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the market saying, oh, you should get out of Bitcoin. You should get out of Ethereum. You should get out of your meme coins and focus more so towards on quantum resistant digital assets. No, this is me as a mature investor taking precautionary measures for the future that is unknown for the future that the vast majority of us now know is coming at a very fast accelerated pace, yet none of us know how it's actually going to unfold in the future. Now, again, diversification, in my personal opinion, is absolutely essential. So for a investor in this digital asset landscape to not at least consider some of the digital assets that I'm going to mention is extremely immature and illogical, in my personal opinion. Again, it's not financial advice. Do your own personal research. So I want to take your attention over to my three digital asset picks. 
three digital assets that are primary focused on becoming quantum resistant, at least to the information that I found on them. Again, do your own research to each his own. Now, if you've all enjoyed this video breakdown so far, being transparent with you guys, showing you documentation, showing you guys panel discussions, talking about this unnoticed topic that the vast majority of people in the Web3 and crypto space really don't talk about, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the platform. Now, the first one, the first pick that I have for digital asset becoming quantum resistant is the XDC token and the XDC network. So you can see here, XDC, this was published most recently on March 19th. So just a couple of days ago, as of time of recording this video, it is March 26th. So this is a fresh update. XDC's network, unbreakable future, exploring areas of quantum proof blockchain. In a brief nutshell, it says, a study by Deloitte reveals a critical vulnerability in cryptocurrency ecosystems with a significant amount of Bitcoins and Ether, hmm, essential assets within the Ethereum network, held in addresses that publicly display their public keys. This exposure creates a potential security loophole, making these cryptocurrencies susceptible to theft by sufficiently powerful quantum computings. Going back to everything that we just read and talked about, right? Now, it also says, in today's swiftly evolving digital landscape where quantum computing looms, a formidable challenge to blockchain security, including Bitcoin and Ethereum and other blockchain networks. The XDC network is taking significant strides to fortify itself against these futuristic threats, which as an investor in the now, in the early stages, I find extremely important and one of the key metrics that I need to see in a digital asset if I'm going to invest for the long term. Here you can see many of the transformative things that the XDC network is attempting to embed into its solution in order to become quantum resistant. Now, another digital asset and distributed ledger technology company that I'm heavily focused on and invested in is Hedera Hashgraph's HBAR. You can see this article was just recently put out on the 5th of March, 2024. It goes on to read, long story short, to combat these emerging threats, Seals Q, i.e. a organization, has partnered with its parent company, WiseKey, to develop a proof of technology for a crypto wallet built on the Hedera network. This initiative aims to enhance user confines by emerging public key infrastructure signatures with biometric authentication. Now, if we scroll up to the top, what are they talking about? Seals Corp announces advanced crypto wallet futures to combat quantum threats. And this is being built on the Hedera network, which I find very interesting. So again, take that into consideration when you're doing your research. Now, last but not least, my third and final pick for digital asset that is becoming quantum resistant and heavily focused on such things. This was put out December 21st, 2023. So it is updated Algorand, a blockchain breakthrough in smart contracts, speed and efficiency. And I just have one last highlight here where it goes on to say Algorand is an energy efficient proof of stake model offering advanced smart contract capabilities, a commitment to green technology and a foresight to prepare a blockchain to be quantum computing resistant. So again, take everything into consideration that I mentioned in today's video breakdown. I'm not fudding anybody. I'm not saying you should only invest in quantum resistant digital assets. But again, it's definitely something to consider as a investor in this space long term to forward project into the unknown future that we are definitely headed into. As always, bringing you guys the realest information. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video breakdown, showing you guys proof is in the pudding, always reading valid documents to you guys via these large financial institutions and major universities, and then showing you guys video clips from panel discussions that go largely unnoticed. Do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the platform, and I will see you all in the next video breakdown.